I'm going to run you through now um, how to start your clay textured piece. So you unwrap your clay. And, and hopefully it's well wrapped up and still nice and wet. Now it's good to have uh, some water to hand because sometimes, particularly when it's quite warm like this, the clay can dry out quite quickly. And what you can do is you can just put a little bit of water on your hands um, and just moisten the clay like this. So you make it first into a ball. Um, and what you might like to do to start with is to do a little trial one. So you might start by oops, making your clay into a ball and then smoothing it down, flattening it with the palm of your hand. If you find it easier, we've included a rolling pin because that does help you flatten it a bit more um, and you can roll it slightly. But don't do it too thin because we want to be able to have room with the width to press things in. So you don't want to go any thinner than, say, or sort of half an inch, a centimetre um, width. And then you can see where it kind of you get little cracks and things. So then if you smooth the edges. So I thought it'd be nice. Some of you might have done tiles before where we do them um, as, as squares, quite geometric shape um, with straight edges. But we're going to do these ones rounded um, kind of make that part of it. So it's going to be kind of a, a textured um a, a textured shape <laughs> you can quite an organic shape um, and you might want to I've done this sort of an oval shape but you might you know you might want to have it slightly thinner at one end so it's good to start off by and you can dip your finger in the water just slightly wet it and then rub over the surface of the clay to start with um, and this gets rid of any cracks and smooths it off and makes a nice kind of surface to start with. So you might do this first one as kind of a practice one. Um, what I would suggest is you cut your clay in half and you do half of it as a practice one because while you're working on it, it might dry out. So it might be difficult to, to then re-roll. So you might want to have a fresh piece for a bit later if you want to do um, a little play around first to find out the different marks you can make. And then when you've done that and you want to do um, your final one, you can then use the fresh piece of clay that hasn't been in the air. There we are. So kind of got a, a fairly blank surface there. So then you can start to explore some of the uh, marks you can make. Um, so you've got your clay tools and they've got different ends. So these wooden ones, different ends. So you can have a think about whether you press straight down with your tools or you can run them along to make a kind of scratch into the surface like that and if you do something and you you decide you actually don't want it like that you can just do the same again by slightly dampening your fingers and then you can sort of rub it away um, and remove it so it's it's perfectly fine to try stuff out you don't need to worry too much obviously the longer you're doing it for if the clay does start to dry it gets harder to work with so just bear that in mind, particularly if it's really hot. Um, so I'm going to try um, a shell that I've got. Just pressing the end. Oh, it's got a bit of water on it. Just try that out. I think I must have washed it earlier. So I'm just pressing that into the end. And you can find that sort of repeating um, 
something over and again works quite well. And then I'm going to try um, this one just by and once you've made a mark you can kind of use that as a guide for making more so it, you can kind of create a shape that you can then work against that works quite well so not necessarily planning it out too much beforehand and just building it up as you go I just keep gently pushing it in I'm going to go over this side as well And try and take your time thinking about where you want to put stuff. How much of one mark you want to do. I quite like a lot of these um, little dots. They're quite nice. And actually the other end's got a smaller one, so you could try out some of the smaller dots as well, building it up. Um, and then I might try Doing some scratching into it with the brush. It kind of makes a really rough surface. Almost looks fluffy. I've got this area in the middle. So what can I do with that? Try and actually draw into it. It's quite a relaxing thing to do, it's kind of slowly building it up. doing something quite sort of abstract, not worrying too much about it looking like something, but just exploring what different marks and shapes, particularly thinking about the textures that you can create. So when it's dry, it'd be a really nice piece to explore with your fingers. Um, I might try a bit of the shell. You could even try kind of pinching between your fingers, create these raised areas. Kind of creates a bit more of an interesting shape. these indents. You can make it quite sculptural by doing this. So you can build it up if you, you know, want to use some of your extra clay to add some pieces onto it. They could even just take a small small piece and then you can I mean this surface is quite rough so you just scratch it 
the surface that you're going to put it on to. Add it on. And then kind of go around the edge. Making it a bit more three dimensional. And you'll have a bit more time to do this, so you know you can really take your time. I'm doing this a bit rushed, but you know, that kind of thing, you can do something that really stands out. Um, what else have we got to use? I could also try and um, see what a rubber band does. Press it in. That's why it's quite good to do um, a practice one first, so you can see what happens, see what stuff looks like and what you like. Give me a bit more cushion there. And then... see sometimes some of the edges become a bit cracked and that that can be got rid of just by dampening your finger and you can play around with it being dictated by whatever marks you've made already, building it up. It does end up looking quite organic. It's like a, I think particularly when it's this colour, you really notice the different textures on there rather than having colour. Then you can go back over it, deciding which bits you want to keep textured, which bits you want to smooth out. Because actually smooth areas are a texture in themselves. Like, so you might want some bits, you might want to keep them smooth. Sometimes when you drag like a sharp point like this, you can get some bits, you get, the line is a bit fluffy. So you can then try and kind of flatten it down, those fluffy bits, just gently with your finger, smooth it off. Try pressing something like the corrugated card in. Yep. 
different parts of the shells. I'm obviously doing quite a lot on this small piece and you might not want to do yours quite as busy. Um, just kind of trying to show you the different things that you can do. <laughs> it's a bit overloaded, but it kind of gives you the idea. So you can do things like, you know, objects that you've got at home, you could press into it. Leaves the mark in there. It would obviously be better if it was on a smooth bit. Um, you could also use like the edge of a ruler. If you want to do straight lines. So yeah, this one's very busy. So you might want to do something a bit more simple. Um, I think that kind of when you repeat things that works quite well and you can then oops carefully peel it off and you want to get it completely sort of smooth before it, you put it down to dry Yeah, have a play around and um, explore what different marks you can make. Um, and I hope you have fun with it. I, I would definitely have a little play first with um, a spare bit of clay and then work out your kind of how you want to do your final one. Um, you might want it more smooth, you might want it more bumpy, you could do different areas. Um, I did one here a bit earlier. Kind of quite similar that's almost dry and I just loved all these little holes so I did quite a lot there with that and I did some bits with string where you're just pressing string in um, so yeah there are lots of different ways you can do it um, so yeah have fun with it hope you enjoy it <laughs>